TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 144. You get the Nasdaq up 21. S&Ps are up nine. Gold contract trading down six dollars and forty cents at one thousand two sixty-seven an ounce. We have silver up ten cents at eighteen dollars and forty-eight cents an ounce. Platinum's down twenty-six bucks nine seventy-three an ounce. Copper, pretty amazing, up nine pennies two fifty-four a pound. Huge move in the last uh, two weeks in copper. Light sweet crude down fifty-five cents forty-four dollars seventy-two cents a barrel. Notes. Notes are down 17 ticks, 127.15. 30 year bonds off 22 ticks, 156.09. Both notes and bonds went down yesterday. Wide price spread, huge volume. Same today. Bottom line, rates are going up. King dollar. King dollar up 526 ticks, 99.05. King dollar is testing the highs of the last uh, a week and a half ago. Euro is at 108. And the yen is at 106.91. Now, we go over and take a look at the S&P. This is what you have happening. The bell is ringing out here, folks. And that ring is like we are at a high once again. So, the SPY. SPY is at 218.31. The high that we're talking about here is 219.60. I suspect we're not going to get to it. It was an extension move, exhaustion move, all of the above yesterday. What you have now is that you're still dealing with the September 9th level. And if we close today under 217.03, that's going to be a test of that downdraft, and that would be a failure on price and volume. We'll see how that'll handle it. That's in the S&Ps. Dow Industrials broke to new highs, so it's going to be a spike high. Uh, what you have with the Dow right now, the high of the Dow that just took out this morning was 18,668. Uh, we took that out by 100 points. You know, we'll see whether it can hold it. Uh, bottom line is that it's up over it. In order to have a failure, it'd have to close underneath it. NASDAQ Composite. Composite also is showing that they can't handle higher price. Composite this morning got to a price point of 53.02. The high in the composite is 53.42. You're backing off off that high. You're backing off off the last two swing points. You're backing off on the downdraft that was created out here on the 11th of October. And it totally makes sense. Why? Because you, the amount of energy that it took yesterday in order to go down dramatically four or five hundred points, well, five hundred points in the Dow to come all the way back, it's a huge amount of energy. Uh, it's giving it up. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here is trading at a price point of uh, 1265. You've gone to 1262. Thus far, what we've done is that you've done 219,000 contracts. Now, the swing low that's going after is the 1262. Um, it, it has rejected it as of this morning. Uh, what you want to see if you're a bull is that you want to see it close inside 1268 today because what you'll have uh, also as, as the S&P, the gold market had a huge amount of energy expended. It went up $60. It comes all the way back down, goes into a negative aspect. And I expect that what we just did out here on gold has made a bottom out here at 1262. Now the bottom, it would have to test it first and then get out of there. Notes, notes and bonds, folks, bottom line, they're going lower and they have volume behind the move. We're already done 1.5 million contracts and the uh, 10 year. That's saying that, uh, guess what? These rates are going up and I suspect what you're going to see, let's go over to the dollar. What you're going to see, the, do the, the market yesterday was shaking off the aspect of higher rates. This market is going to pay attention to higher rates and that's where it's going to more than likely start this pullback. Right now, your dollar index is trading at 99.06. The high that it's, it's testing out here is 99.090 and I expect that that high will get tested out here today. What I also expect you're going to see out here today as you're going to see a failure inside the S&P, you're going to see a failure inside the NASDAQ. We'll see if the Dow fails. I suspect all along that it's a spike high in the Dow, that this is the high. It's ringing the bell. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock.
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.